The day I can't give the game everything on the floor. Here comes LBJ! The day I'll be done. Reed's got a hand on a three on one. Russ, LeBron! Lucky for you guys. That day is not today. Most of us can never be LeBron James, but we can achieve the same level of success in our everyday lives by using steroids. Just kidding, just kidding. Even though we won't become LeBron, we can bring the same youthful energy to our everyday passions by mastering this one thing. If you found this video, I know there are some big goals you want to achieve, but you feel like your time is running out. Now you're scouring the internet for answers on how to achieve these goals. I have been there too, but I learned something at the perfect time by studying the greats, including LeBron James entering his 21st season in the NBA and Tom Brady, who just finished up one of the most decorated NFL careers in, after 23 years. How did they reach their massive goals when I struggled to finish up a track career at the age of 27? How are others able to attack their daily goals when I suffered for so long trying to maintain a consistent YouTube schedule? The answer is somewhat simple, but before we get into that, make sure you smash that like button and hit the subscribe so I can continue providing you all with the latest health and wellness tips so you can continue to crush your goals. While you're down there, comment on who your favorite motivation is. It could be an athlete, a musician, an artist, and why. It turned out that I was my biggest enemy. But top performers all over the world have figured out that their gut health is the most important type of health. Therefore, they spend millions every year to master their gut. From personal chefs to personal trainers, it's hard to find a top performer who does not prioritize and take every measure to ensure that their gut health is functioning at the highest level so they can function at their highest level. But don't worry, you don't need millions, you don't need a personal chef to master your gut health. All you need to do is follow these three keys. The gut is basically your human battery pack. Being at the top of your game means you have to have the energy to show up every day and put your best foot forward. From being a top athlete to being the best parent you can be. When our gut suffers, we suffer. Learning to master gut health with these three keys is the most important thing that we can do. All the keys are extremely important, but key number three is arguably the most important. First and foremost, we have to remain active with our bodies. Exercise is the first key, and honestly, one of the easier ones. Exercise is going to improve gut motility. This can help prevent issues like constipation or sluggish digestion. Exercise is going to enhance gut microbiome diversity. It's going to reduce gut inflammation. You're going to reduce stress. Regular exercise plays a crucial role in maintaining a healthy weight. How to exercise. As long as you find something you love to do, it does not matter what it is because chances are if you love it, you will be able to meet the minimum requirement of at least 150 minutes of moderate intense aerobic activity or 75 minutes of vigorous intensity aerobic activity per week. Some examples of exercise include aerobic exercise, strength training, flexibility and balance exercise, or low impact exercises. The second key to mastering gut health is getting consistent quality sleep. Sleep and gut health have a direct correlation to each other. Better sleep leads to better gut health, and better gut health leads to better sleep. This one is often easier said than done, but maintaining a regular healthy sleep schedule helps optimize hormone regulation and production, one of the most crucial biological factors to feeling young. It's also gonna impact your gut-brain axis. The gut and brain also have a bi-directional relationship known as the gut-brain axis, which impacts gut microbial balance. When this is disrupted, not only will your gut health suffer, but your brain health will suffer as well. Finally, the third key to mastering gut health is diet. You are what you eat. Now this may sound like a duh moment to you, but I can tell you right now, it took me way too long to figure this out. And by the time I did, it was too late. I was already diagnosed with ulcerative colitis. Where was the disconnect with me? I had a mindset like a lot of athletes. Hey, more often than not, we're working out regularly three plus hours a day. When you're burning four, five, sometimes 6,000 calories in a day, you know what's on the menu? Everything in sight. But what you notice is top athletes have figured it out. We aren't only eating to replenish what we lost in terms of calories, but we are eating to repair and rebuild to fight inflammation so we can do it again the next day. Mastering gut health, including a proper diet and sleep is the closest thing you can get to natural steroids. So I'm gonna use this book, The TB12 Method, as a reference. If you're looking for an athlete who has figured it out, it would be Tom Brady. He competed 23 seasons in the NFL, arguably one of the toughest sports around. 
And if you look at the way he eats, it is the best diet to maximize gut health. So this book I purchased in 2017, it came with this letter. Thank you for purchasing the TB12 manual. This manual includes information that you can use to improve your diet and recipes you can use to achieve and sustain your peak performance, along with a bunch of other things. So we're gonna get into this book here. When you open up the book, I'll try to put up a picture here of the TB12 nutrition philosophy. Again, this, everything that I'm about to read is basically everything that you're going to want to do to maximize your gut health. This could be for performance sake. This could be for people suffering with um, digestive issues. This is a great, template to follow. So the TB12 nutrition philosophy is different and it comes down to through maintaining proper body pH balance and avoiding foods that cause inflammation. They have some core principles of healthy eating that are going to help you optimize your gut health. There are bullet points here that say eat a variety of organic whole foods, eat plenty of fiber, eat a balanced essential fatty acid that includes omega-6 and omega-3s, eliminate processed snack foods, eliminate sugar and refined carbs. Eliminating sugar is a huge one here. Try it for 30 days and you'll feel amazing. Eliminate gluten and dairy. That is a must for people who suffer with IBD or IBS. You can take a celiac test or an allergy test and it'll come back as negative. You're not allergic to gluten. And I can tell you right now, my test came back negative, but if I have gluten, it is not a good situation. So I would say eliminating gluten and dairy for those who have a hard time digesting it and processing it, especially people with gut related issues, that's a must. Eliminate fungus, limit the use of nightshades. Nightshades are gonna be vegetables like uh, tomatoes and eggplants. Monitor salt intake, minimize caffeine, drink alcohol only in moderation, maintain adequate hydration. That includes drinking not only water, but electrolytes as well. And then if you flip through the book, they have recipes based on season. And that's because one of the tips that I learned not only from this book, but from some top nutritionists as well, is that you wanna eat foods that match the season. What would naturally grow during that season? Those are the foods that you wanna eat. So for example, in the summer, you might wanna eat some fruits to replenish your lost um, liquids. In the fall, you might wanna eat some pumpkin and some apples, those are gonna be growing naturally. And in the winter, maybe you want to eat some root vegetables. Just imagine it's the winter. You have to dig for your food and you're going to want root vegetables as a, as a food source. So that's a great tip that I found is match your diet with the season, the weather season around you. I hope you not only enjoyed this, but I hope you took away some key tips that are going to help you along your journey. If you found this helpful, you're going to love our next video. See you there.